Welcome everybody to a look at what is my first purchase of 2023, although this was released in 2022, and it is Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell from 1974. So this was released at the same time by Second Sight with The Mummy, which again is a uh, another horror film from Hammer. And uh, yeah, this is directed by Terence Fisher, who did four of the prior Frankenstein films, including the first, The Curse of Frankenstein, as well as several other Hammer horror films films with this being the 16th film that I've now seen from him and uh, yeah it clocks in at 93 minutes long stars Peter Cushing who I've seen now 42 films from he was in several um, the majority of the other Frankenstein films he was only not in one of them so he's in f uh, six of the seven and uh, yeah it also stars uh, Madeline Smith who was the first Bond girl to start alongside Roger Moore she was in the first opening scene and uh, yeah she was also in Theatre of Blood and it stars David Prowse, who was the, uh, as a monster in this uh, film. He's most widely known for playing the role of Darth Vader in physical form. However, he first played Frankenstein in an uncredited role in the 1967 version of Casino Royale, when it went absolutely batshit crazy, basically, with a lot of different characters that you probably know in previous films appearing. But he had his first proper role in a horror, uh, Frankenstein film in the horror of Frankenstein, which was the... Uh, previous film to this one which is easily the weakest of the uh, series but yeah still this is about that Dr. Simon Helder played by um uh, oh what's his name sorry I forgot his name uh, da, da. I had him I didn't write him down because I've basically never seen anything from him before but yeah regardless Dr. Simon Helder uh, he's sentenced to an insane asylum for crimes against humanity recognises its director as a brilliant Baron Frankenstein the man whose work he had been trying to emulate before his imprisonment Frankenstein uses uh, Helder's medical knowledge for a project he has been working on for some time he is assembling a man from vital organs extracted from various inmates at the asylum and the Baron will resort to murder to acquire the perfect specimens for his most ambitious project ever. So, uh, yeah, this is the seventh and final film in the Frankenstein Hammer series. And although it doesn't end the series on a high note, it, it still manages to match the best of the prior uh, films in the series while being comfortably better than the prior film, which is mainly thanks to the return of the great Peter Cushing and the uh, more enjoyable plot. As, uh, yeah, Peter Cushing, for some reason, wasn't in the previous film i think it's because they tried to basically do a reimagining or a remake of the whole origin of frankenstein but regardless cushing is a welcome return to the series and the cast as a whole is really rather good it is well paced looks excellent in terms of its cinematography and production value which is usually the case with hammer horror films has a surprising amount of gore and violence especially for a 1974 film this is pre you know the 80s in terms of you know the slasher genre where a lot of violence and gore was prominent and yeah this is quite graphic in terms of its violence at times uh the score is well done and it is generally engrossing just a shame though that the ending isn't particularly satisfying and it is somewhat predictable as you can pretty much guess at where this plot is going to go in a lot of ways but regardless it is really rather enjoyable and engrossing throughout and uh yeah you get the single disc with this release which is just like with the mummy and um, yeah you get a really nice hard box, which has really rather nice new artwork with it as well. That's the side, and nothing on the back. And yeah, you also get a booklet with it, which yeah has different artwork on it, which I also really rather quite like. And uh, yeah, his brain came from a genius, his body came from a killer, his soul came from hell. So uh, yeah, this has, oh, what does it have? It has a cast and a crew. It also has, there's nothing more for you to see. The Final Days of Hammer's Frankenstein by Kevin Lyons. Frankenstein's Class Act by Emma Westwood. The Baron and the Beast by Kelly Robinson. And then Acknowledgements and Production Credits. So, uh, yeah, um, Simon Hedler was played by Shane Bryant, by the way. I didn't write him down because, like I said, I've not seen him from him before. But, yeah, still, it's, yeah, the write-ups are all really rather nicely done. Um, you've got shots from the films as, as well. I mean, just to emphasise the gore, minor spoilers. How many films from 1974 before that you would see something like that? Not really, uh, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. 
The monster itself, though, doesn't look quite the best, I'd, I'll admit. It does look a little bit goofy, especially with its fat lips and its and the like, but I guess it kind of emphasises the fact that it's made from several different pieces of people. So, uh, yeah, and you get several art cards as well, so you've got the new artwork on one of them. Then you got the more original artwork with the cast credits, which, again, I really rather quite like. Then you got shots from the film. So, again, minor spoilers. And then upcoming is the monster. So if you're not interested in what the monster looks like and you want to see it for yourself, then skip this bit. But, yeah, the monster itself, which, yeah, is a little bit goofy, but it's well executed in terms of the way that it overall looks like an amalgamation of several different parts of people. So, yeah, overall, a really, really solid film. It's not quite as great of a film as The Mummy, which, like I said, was released alongside this uh, last year. Um, late last year, I think it was. But still finally glad to have this on the blu-ray because yeah it's one of my favorites from the series like i said uh yeah and i just hadn't bought it at the time as, as a mummy purely because i hadn't seen the rest of the series up until yeah this was announced so uh yeah i eventually got through the other five films and uh yeah and then finally got to this which i really rather enjoyed so uh yeah i'd like to hear your thoughts on this film or other hammer films or the frankenstein series as a whole but nonetheless thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye